Turn to the real Jesus, my friend. Turn to the real Jesus, my friend. Jesus is not Michael the Archangel, my friend. He's the Lord, God, Almighty. So I can give him the glory. They don't have an answer. The name of Jesus, I am Praise the living God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Emmanuel, God with us. My Lord and my God. The flooding from the flames. Temptation and preserve. Saints for that day that he will come. Victory in the name of Jesus I am free. I got this ink whoops <laughs> anchor acre. Praise God. Brother Mike. Brother Mike Kibasa, you met me at my job and blessed me, blessed me big time with this acre, anchor, acre, praise God, praise God, Lord bless him, love that brother, say from the, from the flames, Praise the living God. Praise 
Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ. Revelation 22 said, Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give to every man of their work shall be. I am Alpha. I'm the Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the first and the last. Blessed are they who do His commandments, for they may have right unto the tree of life and enter in into the gates of the city. See, I was sitting there looking at them, looking them at them in the eye, talking to them, preaching to them, and they just, they're just dead. Strong delusion. Strong delusion because they do not love the truth. They love religion. They love a religious experience. They love their 501c3 building entity. Religious experience. I'm just taking a break off work actually to come out here and preach to them. Praise the living God. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My Lord and my God. Jesus is my Lord and my God. My God. Is that your dress code, my friend? You got a dress code? Praise the living God. Praise Jesus Christ. Come out here today. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. And we're here to tell you about the real Jesus. Of the King James Holy Bible. Not Michael the Archangel. But the real Jesus. The Bible says, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of His saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and with their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration for advantage. My neighbors, the Bible says in John chapter 1, I'm sure you guys heard this verse over and over and over. In the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was with God. You're not with yourself. He's with God. The same was in the beginning with God. You can't have one of the same, my friends. If you have one apple, you don't have the same of another. You have to have two apples because they're the same. The same was in the beginning with God. John chapter 1, verse 3. I don't know how you guys missed this part. But it says, all things, all things were what? Were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. And in Him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. My neighbors. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was, capital G, God. All things. Not all other things. But all things. All things were made by Jesus Christ. All things were made by Jesus Christ. My neighbor. 
Don't harden your heart as in the provocation. You know, as we get older through the deceitfulnesses of sin, it hardens your heart. My neighbor, don't harden your heart to the truth. Don't harden your, your heart to the truth of God's word. Don't be a false witness speaketh lies. God hates a false witness that speaketh lies. All things were made by Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ was not anything made that was made. Jesus Christ is not a created being according to the Holy Bible. According to the King James Holy Bible, Jesus Christ was not created. All things were made by Him. And then you could go to Colossians chapter 1. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, Jesus Christ, starting at verse 15, who is the image of the invisible God. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. Here, you, you guys know this verse, right? The firstborn of every creature. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of every creature. You take that as Jesus being created. He is a created being. That's how you take that. But that firstborn doesn't mean that he's created. Because in Psalms chapter 89 verse 27, David was the firstborn. And he wasn't the firstborn. He was the youngest child. And, and God calls, calls Israel the firstborn. God calls Israel the firstborn. And they're not the firstborn nation. They were Amorites, Hittites, the, the Je Jebusites. That firstborn doesn't mean created being. You take little bits and, and pieces of scripture and you twist it to your own destruction. You twist it to your own destruction. Keep reading. Keep reading. It says, for by him all things created. Not all other things as your, as your New World Order book. Not a Bible. Not God's word. No. All things created by him that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible all things were created by Jesus Christ and for Jesus Christ he is before all things and by him all things consist and he is the head of the body of Christ my neighbors don't be deceived don't be deceived by the watchtower don't be deceived by your 501c3 entity. No, Jesus Christ, He is Emmanuel, God with us. He's God manifested in the flesh. You guys say that, that Jesus Christ is Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Let me turn this up. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. In Jude, when Michael the Archangel was contending with the devil over Moses' body, Michael the Archangel did not say, I rebuke you. He said, the Lord rebuke thee. The Lord rebuke thee. That word Lord is kurios. And it's always talking about Jesus Christ. The same in Genesis chapter 18. Kyrios. The Lord rebuke you. He didn't say I rebuke you. He said the Lord rebuke thee. And you can go to Hebrews chapter 1. You can roll your eyes all you want, ma'am. You can roll your eyes all you want. But you're not going to be rolling your eyes when you're, when you're in the flames of hell. Yes. You're going to be risen to everlasting damnation. Yes. You better repent and get right with God. Yes, for God is not mocked, lady, whatsoever a woman or a man soweth, that he shall also reap. If you sow to your own religious experience, your religious pride, up to your flesh of your religious pride, you're going to reap corruption. You're going to reap destruction. You're going to reap hell fire. The Bible says in Luke chapter 16, starting at verse 19, two people died. 
Two people died and were buried. They were buried. Lazarus. He went to Abraham's bosom in paradise. And the rich man. You know why his name was Rich Man? And, 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 and God knew Lazarus' name? Because the rich man, his name was not written in heaven. That's why they call him Rich Man. And the rich man went to hell. And he lifted his eyes in torment. He said, oh, send Lazarus to dip his finger in water. And to dip his, his, his finger in water and dip it on my tongue. You won't even get a drop of water in hell, my friends. My neighbors. Yes. Look at He's just like, you look like a, a whitewashed sepulcher. A whitewashed sepulcher full of dead man's bones inside. The outside of the cup is clean, but the inside is filthy. Filled with lewdness. Filled with lawlessness. Your religious pride won't get you to heaven, my friend. Charles Taze Russell, a false prophet. Yes, he's leading you. He's leading you into a lake that burns. You've been deceived, my friends. My neighbors, you've been deceived. You have a false Jesus. You know what Jesus Christ said in Matthew 24? He said, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Many false Christs will come in my name in the last days. You false witness have a false Christ. The time is short. The time is very short. That's how you know the time is short. Because Jesus' words is true. He said, do not be deceived. In the last days, there'll be many false Christs. And you have a false Jesus Christ. You say he's not God. You say he was a created being. That's blasphemy in the sight of a holy and righteous God. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can mock and scoff all you want. But you're just proving the Bible true. The Bible says that mockers and scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their own ungodly lusts. You just proved the Bible true. You walk according to your own ungodly lust. Yes, your religious pride will not profit you on the day of wrath. Your, your religious pride will not profit you on the day of wrath. You're not going to be laughing and mocking and scoffing on that day. When you die, you're going to have to give an account to the Lord. You're going to have to give an account for every thought, word, and deed. For leading people astray from the truth of God's word. Don't be deceived. You're deceived. Yes. Many false Christs will come in the last days. Muslims have a false Christ. They call him Isa. Mormons have a false Christ. Mormons have a false Christ. Jesus Christ said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to every man of their work shall be. I am Alpha, I'm the Omega, I'm the beginning and the end. Blessed are they who do His commandments. He's Alpha, He's Omega, He's the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. My neighbors, don't be deceived. The Bible says, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 4, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, and beside me there is no God. I am the first and the last. Besides me, there is no God. You go to Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, starting at verse 8. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. And is alive. That's Jesus Christ. Words in red. Words in red. Yes, Jesus Christ is the first and the last. Yes. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, 
rests with us when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed from heaven with His mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on all them who know not God, you all know not God, and obey not the truth, you obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and by the glory of His power. Yes, you do not obey the truth. You do not obey the gospel. You don't even have glad tidings. You just invite people to a building that you call church for a religious experience. There's no power in the watchtower. There's no Holy Spirit in the watchtower, in the false witness. Are you born again? Are you born again? Jesus Christ said in John chapter 3, Ye must be born again. You must be born again. I've talked to many, many false witness. I say, are you born again? Oh, uh, we pray for it. Oh, we pray for it. You will know if you're born again. But you're not born again because you have a false Jesus. You have a false Jesus. You're of your father, the devil. Because the lust of your father, you will do. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. And you abode not in the truth. You abode not in the truth. You abode in the lie. You serve your father, the devil. The father of lies. Yes. Jesus Christ is the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey Him. You're not obeying Jesus Christ. You don't even have a, a, a right Jesus Christ. You guys don't celebrate Christmas because it's pagan. I don't esteem one day over the other myself. I esteem each day alike in the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't celebrate Christmas because it's pagan. But you have an idol of a Jesus. You have a pagan Jesus. That's such a hypocritical. Yes, you religious hypocrites. You guys are a bunch of religious hypocrites. That's what Jesus Christ calls you guys. The, the God in flesh, Jesus Christ, calls you a bunch of religious hypocrites. He says, you religious hypocrites, you draw nigh unto me with your mouth, and you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from Jesus Christ. Your heart is in your 501c3 building. Oh, your church attendance. Oh, let me pay tithes. Let me pay money to a church thinking you're right with God. You're not right with God going to a 501c3 building, having a religious experience and giving them your money. No, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Yes, Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. You guys just follow your, your watchtower, your rules, and your regulations, and your dress code. It's just a dress code. It's just a dress code you guys have. Look, every single person looks the, exactly the same because it's a dress code. Oh, we have a dress code that we must follow. You're not right with God. You don't have the Holy Spirit. You're not born again. Jesus Christ, He's my Lord and my God. He's my Lord and my God. Yes, just what Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Not Michael the archangel. No, in, in Micah chapter 5 verse 2, Jesus Christ is from everlasting. Jesus Christ is from everlasting. Yeah, He's the creator of all things. All things were made by Jesus Christ. Not all other things. No, all things were made by Jesus Christ. And who's the good shepherd? Who's the good shepherd in Ezekiel 34? Who's the good shepherd in Ezekiel 34? Thus saith the Lord God, I am the good shepherd. Yes, I feed my flock. Thus saith the Lord God, the good shepherd. Who's the good shepherd in John chapter 10? Jesus Christ said, I am the good shepherd. Praise the living God. Repent. Repent of your religious hypocrisy. The Bible says, repent ye therefore and stop perverting the truth of God's word. 
Stop perverting the way, the truth, and the life of the truth in the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop perverting the truth, but be ye converted that your sins, that your religious hypocrisy may be blotted out and times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. You religious hypocrites, you travel land and sea to make a proselyte, to make a convert, twice the son of hell is yourself. The outside of the cup is clean, but the inside is filthy, filled with lawlessness, filled with lewdness. You know what the Bible says? If while we seek to be justified by Christ and are found to be made sinners, what then? Is Christ therefore a minister of sin? God forbid. God forbid. The Bible says, the Bible says in Galatians chapter 1, that if any of you, even an angel, preach another gospel, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. That's the word of God. Galatians chapter 1. You false witness, you have another gospel. You have another Jesus. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 1 that you're accursed. You're accursed. Repent and believe the gospel. Believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and who He said He is. Yes, Jesus Christ is Emmanuel, God with us. That's Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus Christ said, if you do not believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. You can laugh and mock with your religious pride. You can laugh and mock in your religious pride. But when you die and you stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, yes, there's not going to be no laughing and no mocking on that day. Yes, all things are open. You're going to be naked and afraid to Him of whom we have to do. But the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. He's patient. He's kind. He's long-suffering. He doesn't want you religious hypocrites to perish. He wants all to come to repentance. Don't be deceived by the phony watchtower that's leading you to a place, to a lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Yes, you're going to die twice if you're not born again with the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ said ye must be born again. Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you born again? Can anybody answer? Are you born again? No. Just like statutes. Just statutes. The outside of the cup is clean, but the inside is filthy. Filled with lewdness. No answer. Are you born again? Is anybody here born again? Oh, you, you don't want to say anything. You might get excommunicated. You could come to the truth. All you have are these feigned words. These feigned words. Jesus Christ said, ye must be born again with the Holy Spirit. Jehovah's false witness, you do not have the Holy Spirit. You're still in the flesh doing your dead works. You need to purge yourself from your dead works, from standing on a corner preaching a, a no gospel at all. It's no good news. It's a false Jesus. You twist the scriptures. You twist the Word of God to your own destruction. To your own destruction. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You just stand on a corner like a, like a whitewashed sepulcher full of dead man's bones teaching a false Jesus. Teaching a lie. You're of your father the devil. You're all children of the devil because the lust of your father you will do. He was a liar from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning and he's the father of lies. And you lie. You lie. You teach a false Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Jesus Christ said, I am the son of God. Jesus Christ is the son of God. Do you know what the son of God means? It means he is God. Why did the Jews pick up stones to stone him? Because he was claiming to be God. Why did they kill him? Why did the religious people kill him and hand him over to Pontius Pilate? For blasphemy. Because he's claiming to be God. Because he is who he said he is. He is Lord God Almighty. The Word of God. God in flesh. He would manifest it in the flesh. The Bible says, Jesus Christ 
Say, he that committed sin is a servant of sin, and a servant abideth not in a house forever, but a son abide ever. Therefore, if the Son, Jesus Christ, set you free, ye shall be free indeed. Ye shall be free indeed. I talk to many false witnesses. They say, oh, we're all sinners. I can't help it but to sin. It's because you have a false Jesus. You have a false Jesus. That's why. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8 that, that God shares His glory with nobody. God shares His glory with nobody. And then the Bible says in Revelation chapter 5, And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders and the number of them which was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. Yes, the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb of God in honor and glory and honor and glory. Yes, you guys twist the scriptures to your own destruction. You twist the scriptures to your own destruction. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 4, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Glory, honor, and power, O Lord. And that word, Lord, is kurios. It's kurios in the Greek. To receive glory, to receive glory and honor and power. And for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure, and they are, and were created. Yes, praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is to receive glory and honor and power. For him created all things. Revelation chapter 4. Jesus Christ created all things. Yes. All things were made by Jesus, for Jesus, and through Jesus Christ. And you, your, your New World Order book says all other things. You twist the scriptures to your own destruction. That's why you're on your way to a lake that burns. You're on your way to a lake that burns. Yes, what is your life? Even but a vapor, which appeareth for a little time, and then vanishes away. That's your life, here and gone. Yes, and you waste it, serving your dead works. Purge yourself from your dead works to serve the living God. You won't get a drop of water on your tongue. You won't get your Starbucks coffee in hellfire. No, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You can laugh, you can mock now, but your religious pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Yes, it's better to have a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud. Then to divide the spoils with the proud. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent of your religious deeds, your religious acts. There's no power in the watchtower. There's no Holy Spirit in the watchtower. No, it's just your religious vain works. It's vanity of vanity. It's all vanity. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 that Jesus Christ Jesus Christ it says and let all the angels of God worship Him. Let all the angels of God worship Him. How can you say Jesus is Michael the Archangel when the King James Holy Bible says let all the angels work it, uh, worship Him. You have a false Jesus, my friend. Your New World Order book, not a Bible, New World Order book, twists the Word of God to your own destruction, deceiving many, being deceived. The Bible says that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. Oh, hi, how are you? Hi, that's phony. That's fake. It's phony. It's a seducing spirit. And what? Doctrines of devils. The watchtower has a doctrines of devils. 
That's what the Holy Bible, the King James Holy Bible, prophesied about this day today, about your seducing spirits and doctrines of devils and your dress code and your niceties. I try to contend for the faith, try to ask you questions. Are you born again? I talk to many false witnesses and they just try to be nice. Oh, hi, good morning, good day. Your niceties are not the righteousness of God. Your niceties are not the righteousness of God. The Bible says that the righteousness of God is by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. That's the righteousness of God. It's through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ on who He said He was. God in flesh. All things made by Him, for Him, and through Him. Yes. We are saved by grace, through faith, not of yourselves, not of your own religious dead works, not of yourselves, lest any one of you to boast. But we are His workmanship, created unto good works in Christ Jesus. That's our works, in Christ Jesus, which God hath foreordained, which we must walk in them. Do you have the grace of God today? According to the King James Holy Bible, in Titus chapter 2, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly right now in this present world. So if you're not living soberly, righteously, and godly right now, if you're not set apart, Jesus is separate from sinners. And you're not set free from sin, then the wrath of God abides on you. The wrath of God abides on you. Yes, what you're just, uh, your smile, your niceties, it's not the righteousness of God. Or do you despise? D or do you despise? Or despisest thou riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance, but because of your hardness, but because of your hardness in your impenitent heart, your unrepentant heart treasures up unto thyself wrath in the day of wrath in revelation of the convention center attendance? No, of the righteous judgment of God who will render to each man according to their deeds to them who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, immortality, eternal life. You have not eternal life abiding in you. You do not have eternal life abiding, abiding in you. Want to know why? Because unto those who are contentious. Romans chapter 2, verbatim. Unto those that are contentious and do not obey the truth. Obey the truth. Jesus Christ, the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. God in flesh. You do not obey the truth. You know what you're going to get? The Bible says, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil unto the Jew first, then to the Gentile. For God is no respecter of persons. For God is no respecter of persons. Jesus Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Are you keeping Jesus' commandments? Or are you just doing what the watchtower tells you to do? Bad company corrupts good communication. Bad company corrupts good communication. You guys just indoctrinate each other in a lie. Yes, your niceties. Ah, oh, hey, pat on the back. Hey, hey. But inside, you're filthy, filled with lewdness, full of cursing, full of bitterness, full of hypocrisy because you're not born again. You're not born again. But that's offered to you through a humble repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, This is the message which we have heard from Him and declare unto you that God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. No darkness at all. If you say that you have fellowship with God and you walk in darkness, you lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. But if you're living in sin, if you're a liar, a thief, a fornicator, looking at pornography, being a hand homosexual, lusting after women, if you're lusting after women, 
and you say you have no sin, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. But there's good news. You can confess your sin and God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you of all and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. But you got to repent and believe the gospel. You got to repent and believe on the real Jesus Christ. Believe on the real Jesus Christ of the King James Holy Bible. Not the false Jesus of your New World Order book. No. Jesus Christ. He is not Michael the Archangel. News flash. I got a news flash in case you didn't know. I know you're being indoctrinated by a lie. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. In Jude, stand up for what you believe in. Don't be a whisperer and a murmurer and a backbiter. Stand up for what you believe in. Yes, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. No, because your house is not founded upon the rock. It's not founded upon the truth of Jesus Christ. That's why you're in your strong delusion. That's what the Bible says in Thessalonians, that you're under a strong delusion. Why are you under a strong delusion? Because you do not love the truth. You don't love God's word. You love your vain religion. You love your religious experience. Yes, in Jude, when Michael the archangel was contending with the devil over Moses' body, the devil brought forth a railing accusation. And Michael the archangel said, The Lord rebuked thee. Michael the archangel didn't say, I rebuked thee. He said, The Lord rebuked thee. And that Lord is a Greek word, Kyrios. And that's talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The same as in, in Genesis chapter 18. The Lord in Genesis 18. 18, the Lord, that's Kyrios. That's Kyrios. When the Hebrew scriptures were translated from the Septuagint into Greek, that word is Kyrios, and that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, Jesus Christ said in Revelation chapter 22, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is is with me to give to every man of their work shall be not of their false dead religious works no their works of faith in the real Jesus to give to every man of their work shall be I am Alpha I'm the Omega I'm the beginning and the end the first and the last that's Jesus Christ the Alpha the Omega the beginning and the end yes you you can shake your head all you want the truth is the truth, my friend. I'm giving you God's word. You're not of God. That's why you don't hear God's word. You're under a strong delusion. Under a strong delusion. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 that all things were made by Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ was not anything made that was made. And you guys want to twist that firstborn. The firstborn of all, cre uh, of all creation. That firstborn doesn't mean that he's a created being. It just means preeminence. Just as David was the firstborn in Psalms 97, David wasn't the firstborn. He was the youngest. So that, that firstborn doesn't mean that Jesus was created. Boom. Strike one. The Bible says in John chapter 1 that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was, capital G, God. Not little g, God. The little g, gods are the devils. It's idolatry. You blaspheme the name of my holy God, of Jesus Christ, saying he's a God. Shame on you, wicked workers of iniquity. God's going to destroy you in hell fire, except you repent and get right with the, the true living God, Jesus Christ. All things were made by Jesus Christ. John chapter 1. All things. John chapter 1 verse 3. All things were made by Him. Not all other things. All things were made by Jesus Christ. You guys twist the scriptures. You pervert the scriptures to your own destruction. 
That's what the Bible says. You pervert the truth. You pervert the truth of God's word. All things were made by Jesus Christ in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. You just go on in your strong delusion, going on in your religious works. Oh, wearing a uniform. You know, when I was a when I was a kid in elementary school, we had to wear a uniform. I didn't do it because the Lord put it on my heart to obey Him and to dress like this. It was a uniform. It was a bunch of rules. You're following a bunch of dead rules. But Jesus Christ, He wants to put His Spirit inside of you. He wants to put His Holy Spirit inside of you so you can walk uprightly. You can walk blamelessly. You can have power over sin. You no longer have to be a sinner anymore. That's the power of God. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, that these things bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Not these one are one. These three are one. Praise the living God. Praise Jesus Christ. Emmanuel, God with us. That's Jesus Christ. Emmanuel, God with us. Yes. Jesus Christ. He's my Lord and my God. He's my Lord and my God. Who do you say He is? Oh, He's just the Son of God. He's a created being. You say Jesus Christ is created? Blasphemy. Blasphemy to say Jesus Christ is created. Blasphemy in the sight of a holy and righteous God. Holy and righteous God. And you're going to go on here and, and clap your hands and, and have a religious experience and then come out and just be dead. And just be dead inside. And it's like a... Ah, it's like an up and down roller coaster. Oh, oh religious experience. Oh, where to go? You're like the phony hypocrite Christians in America today that go to a building called church. Yes, they look like the world, they act like the world, they talk like the world. Same with you. You're the same thing. The same spirit, the same religious spirit. Because you're not born again. Because you're not born again with the Holy Spirit. Repent and believe the gospel. Jesus Christ said, unless ye repent, you shall all likewise perish. Jesus Christ said, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. <laughs> Enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Look at this. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Which lead to destruction. Shame on you. Shame on you. You backbiter. You're a backbiter. Hater of God. Yes. Despisers of those that do good. Wide is the gate. Look at this wide, broad way which lead to destruction. Look at this broad way which lead to destruction. And there are many which there be which go in thereat. Look at the broad way that leads to destruction. Yes, going in here, listen to vain words. Listen to vain words and then make merchandise of you. Yes, you prove Second Peter chapter 2. You prove it right. They make merchandise of you, telling you feigned words. That's like the false prophets. The false prophets in Isaiah and in Ezekiel tell me smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Prophesy deceits. The Bible says in Proverbs 27 that open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. You're deceitful. All your kisses of an enemy, are, they're, they're deceitful. Because a full soul loatheth in a honeycomb. You think you're full. You loatheth in a honeycomb. But to every hungry man is sweet. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. When you die, it's not mercy day. When you die, you're not going to stand before Charles Taze Russell, false prophet. You're not going to stand before that Freemason. Yeah. Charles Taze Russell's a Freemason. Yes, yeah, so you're not going to stand before that phony false prophet you're going to stand before Jesus Christ the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and if your name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life you're going to get cast into a lake that burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death yes there is a second death yes you people draw nigh unto a false Jesus with your lips and you honor him with your mouth 
But your heart is far from Him. Your heart is far from Jesus Christ. Your heart is in a 501c3 entity. That's where your heart is. Yes, your heart is in a 501c3 entity. It's like trying to climb the corporate ladder. Oh, you have a fear of man. You have a fear of man. Yes, Jesus Christ said, Fear not him that could kill the body, and there's nothing more they could do. I don't fear you. You can stand in my way all you want. I fear God. I don't fear man. Yes, the Bible says, Fear God. Fear not him that could kill the body, and there's nothing more they could do. But I'll show you who you should fear. You should fear God. Fear the one that has power to kill your body and has power to cast both body and soul right into hellfire. Yes, you better fear God. Yes. Fear God and keep His commandments. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every work into judgment. God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether it be good or evil. Yes, it's going to be brought right out in the open. You're going to be naked and afraid on that day. You're going to be naked and afraid on that day. Yes, you're not, you're not going to stand before the watchtower. Yes, you're not, you're not going to stand before your 501c3 buddies. Oh, you, look at your feigned words. Thank you for your service or blocking the truth or trying to. Yes, the word that goes forth out of my mouth, it does not return unto me void. Yes, when you die and stand before Jesus Christ, the real Jesus Christ, He's going to replay this back to you. Yes, that a man of God came out here to preach you the truth, to preach you the living truth, to preach you the living truth. Yes, evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse. Deceiving many, de being deceived. Yes, your religious vain works are sending you to a lake that burns. Yes, there's no power in the watchtower. There's no power in the watchtower. All the power and glory and honor is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus Christ is not Michael the archangel. You're being deceived. You're being deceived. Just like Jesus said in Matthew 24, that in the last days, many false Christs will come in my name. Many false Christs will come in my name. And you false witness, you have a false Jesus Christ. You're children of the devil, religious hypocrites. Because you you serve your dad, the devil, the father of lies. You speaketh lies. Yes, and the devil was the father of lies. That's all you do. Say, Jesus Christ wasn't who, yeah, God sent you a stumbling block in your iniquity. Yes, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, this Holy Ghost doesn't come in just word and tongue, but it comes in deed and in truth and in power and in the Holy Ghost. You know what the Bible says about you religious hypocrites? You stiff-necked, you stiff-necked and uncircumcised heart and ear. Do you always resist the Holy Ghost? Yes. Yes, it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a, a like an instrument of death unto you religious hypocrites. It's like a savor of death unto you sinners. It's like a savor of death unto you religious hypocrites. Yes, but unto life, it's a, unto the righteous, it's a savor of life. Yes. Bible says, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come where they do not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, heap up teachers having itchy ears. And that's right now, all across the world. You have heaped up for yourselves teachers having itchy ears. You turn away, you turn your ear away from the truth. You turn the truth of God's word into a lie, into a fable. Yes, your niceties are not the righteousness of God. Yes, the righteousness of God is by faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. Therefore, we have peace with God. Therefore, we have peace with God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And also, by faith unto this grace. Unto this grace in Jesus Christ. Yes. We say by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ.
This explains your religious people to a T and all you false prophets. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 2, But there were false prophets also among the people, even also, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. You bring in a damnable heresy. False prophets, pro false teachers, you bring in a damnable heresy. You even deny the Lord Jesus Christ and who He said He is. And you're going to bring upon yourself swift destruction. And look, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. And many, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. Look at broad path that leads to destruction. Many shall follow their pernicious ways. Your pernicious ways. Many. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Look, I'm speaking the truth. And you speak evil. You speak evil of it. You prove the Bible true. Woe unto you that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. You put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto you. Look at 2 Peter chapter 2 and then verse 3. It just keeps going. You just condemn yourselves by your actions, by your deeds, by your own free will choice. And through covetous shall with shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. Look at with feigned words making merchandise of you. Through feigned words making merchandise of you. Tickling your ear. Ear tickling message. Oh, to make merchandise of you. This 501c3, they just want your money. There's no Holy Spirit here. There's no power in the watchtower. There's no, no power in the Lord. Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus Christ, the first and the last. Your niceties are not the righteousness of God, ma'am. Newsflash, turn to Jesus, young man, the real Jesus, God in flesh. There's no power here, just religious dead works. And through covetous shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. Whose what? Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not. And their damnation slumbereth not. Your damnation and your and your and your uh, your damnation slumbereth not. You're gonna be risen one day. You're gonna be risen one day to everlasting damnation. To everlasting damnation. Yes. For if God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, but cast them down to hell. Yes and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment and spared not the old world but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Not a preacher of dead religious works. No, a preacher of righteousness. A preacher of holiness. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, 4, Without holiness no man shall see the Lord. Jesus Christ is separate from you sinners. Yes, you just go along with your, with your dress code. It's just a dress code, yes. The Lord sent you a stumbling block in your iniquity. Repent and believe in God. Emmanuel, God with us. The living God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Jesus turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example of all them that live ungodly. Jesus Christ. He set forth Sodom and Gomorrah to all those that live ungodly. Yep, all those that live ungodly. Set forth as an example. Jesus Christ said, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. That's where your treasures are. They're upon earth. They're in the a 501c3 entity, a, a, a false witness watchtower. Serving the teachings of your Freemason. Charles Tay's false prophet. Yes. Moth and rust doth corrupt. And thieves break in and steal all these treasures upon earth. Are you clocking out? You clocking out of your dead works? Are you clocking out of your dead works? Yeah. Did, did you sign out on your iPad? Did you sign out on your iPad? Did you sign out on your dead religious works? Yes. There's no power in the watchtower. You just stand there like a statue. Yes. Because you do not have the truth. You do not know the way, the truth, and the life. You know religious, 
Religious dead works. That's all it is. Like a whitewashed sepulcher. Inside you're full of dead man's bones. You know there's no power here. But you could come to the strong high tower. Not the watchtower. But you could come to the strong high tower. The king of kings and the lord of lords. The first and the last. Who is and who was. Which is to come. Yes. Praise the living God. Praise Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God. And then you guys want to use the excuse. Jesus said, oh, but my father is greater than I. My father is greater than I. Newsflash, my father is greater than I too. But we're still human beings. We're still human beings. That doesn't negate that Jesus Christ is still God. The Bible says in John chapter 5, in John chapter 5, verse 17, but Jesus answered, Then my father worketh hither, uh, hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought to more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but he but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Making himself equal with God. Jesus Christ made himself equal with God, according to the King James Holy Bible. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also, these also doeth the Son. Doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son and sheweth him all things that himself doeth. So the Father cannot do anything without the Son. And likewise, the Son cannot do anything without the Father. How many is there? How many is there? There's two. And then God is going to send another comforter. You still haven't repented? I remember you from last, the last time. Man. Hardness of hearts. Hardness of hearts. Yes. The Bible says in, in John 5, verse 31, If I beareth witness of myself, my witness is not true. If, Jesus said, If I beareth witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnessed of me is true. Yes, and that's God the Father. And then God the Father will send another comforter in my name, which is the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Not these one are one, but these three are one. Repent and believe the gospel, the good news of salvation, that you could be set free from sin. You no longer have to live in your dead religious works. You can have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And you want to call Jesus Christ Michael the Archangel. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 that all the angels shall worship Him. All the angels of the, uh, of the world shall worship Jesus Christ. Praise the living God. And in Philippians chapter 1, Philippians chapter 1, it's not robbery for Jesus Christ to be equal with God. It's not robbery for Jesus Christ to be equal with God. Yes, you are loony going in here, going into a false witness, Condemning yourself by the works that you do. Repent and believe the gospel. You serve a father of lies. You're children of the devil. You are all children of the devil. The Bible says in this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. He that does not do with righteousness is not of God. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, little children... Let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. The world loves its own. He that committeth sin is of the devil. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil in your life. That's why Jesus Christ came. Yes. 
Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ said, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. So if you're looking at pornography with your eye, pluck your eye out. If you're being a hand homosexual, cut your hand off. Jesus is not promoting mutilation. He's saying do whatever it takes to get that sin out of your life. But you're trying in your own strength. You're trying to stop sinning in your own strength. And you can't do it. You can't do it. For it's better to enter life maimed. It's better to enter life maimed with one eye, one hand, and one foot than go to hell fire with all of your members. Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is never quenched. It is never quenched. There's going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. It's everlasting torment by the presence of the Lord and by the glory of His power. Yes, you're phony. You're phony. The Holy Spirit sees right through you. You're a phony, fake hypocrite. You're a phony, fake hypocrite, but I praise God. Yeah, dust, dust it off, right? Your conscience bears witness. Your conscience is bearing witness. You're not right with God. Your niceties are not the righteousness of God. Newsflash, your niceties, they're not the righteousness of God. You know you don't have the Holy Spirit. You know you're not right with God. Yeah, you're like a whitewashed sepulcher full of dead man's bones. Yes, telling your feigned words. Oh, good morning, good morning. That's phony. Deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Look at, look at deceitful. Go. Huh? Deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. You're not going to enjoy it in the flames of hell. You're not going to enjoy it in the second death, in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. He's not going to enjoy it in the lake that burns, my friend. He's not going to enjoy it in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. Yes, you just want to tickle people's ear as they go on to hell. You just pat their back as they lead right on to hellfire. Here, let me pat your back right on to hellfire. Wicked generation, wicked generation, you brood of vipers, you offspring of snakes. That's what Jesus Christ would call you religious people. You brood of vipers, you offspring of snakes. How shall you escape the damnations of hell? How shall you escape the damnations of hell? You can't. You can't. Yes. What is this life? Even but a vapor. Yes. Religious spirit. That's all it is, is a religious spirit. A religious hypocrisy spirit. Yes. Yo, hi in front of people. Oh, hey, hi, hi. How are you when, when nobody's around? When nobody's around? What do you do then? You watch porn? You lust? You're a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, filthy mouth? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Just feigned words. Ear tickling message. Yes, Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Jesus Christ is God. The Bible says in John chapter 1 that all things were made by Jesus Christ. Not all other things. Not all other things. Yes, that's all right. You can bump into me all you want. But I glory in tribulation. Because tribulation worketh patience, and patience worketh experience, and experience worketh hope. And this is the hope that the love of God is shed in my heart, is shed abroad in my heart. Yes, is shed abroad in my heart. Yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Christ died for you. Emmanuel, God with us, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Yes, that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ, He is Lord. He is God. He is Almighty. Jesus Christ said, if you do not believe I am He, you will die in your sin. You're going to die in your sin if you do not believe that Jesus Christ is Lord God, Almighty, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You will die in your sins. And I'm here. I didn't come to call the righteous. But I came to call the sinner to repentance. Repent and believe on the real Jesus Christ. Yeah, your religious mockery will not profit you on the day of wrath. 
You're going to end up in a lake that burns, you wicked Jezebel. You Jezebel witch. That's what the Bible calls you. And I've talked to many Jehovah Witness. And why is it the woman that tries to puff themselves up with that Jezebel spirit? And the men are acting like effeminates. The men are acting like effeminates. Yes, because there's no power in the watchtower. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Know ye not, don't you know, that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Neither fornicator, if you're having sex outside of marriage, you're a fornicator, nor idolater. Look it. You idolaters are not going to enter the kingdom of God. You serve an idol. You serve a false Jesus. It's idolatry. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, you will not enter the kingdom of God. You're all idolaters. You serve an idol. You serve an idol. You serve a false Jesus. Jesus Christ is my Lord and my God. It's blasphemy to say that Jesus Christ is a created being. Blasphemy in the sight of a holy and righteous God. No idolater. No adulterer. Nor effeminate male. Nor effeminate. Nor abuser of themselves with mankind. Nor sodomite. Nor thief. Nor covetous. Nor drunkard. Nor reviler. Nor extortioner. Will inherit the kingdom of God. But such were some of you. You can be washed. You can be justified. You can be sanctified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. You don't have the Spirit of our God. You have another Spirit. You have another Spirit. Some of you have a familiar Spirit. Jesus Christ, the first and the last. Lord God Almighty. The Bible says all things were made by Him. Not all other things, not all other things, like your New World Order book says, all other things, you pervert the truth of God's Word. You're an enemy of righteousness. You're an enemy of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Phony. Phony. The Holy Spirit sees right through this phoniness. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Romans 6. God forbid. God forbids you to continue in your sin. How are we, the born again saints of God that are dead to sin, how shall we live any longer therein? For when we are baptized, we're baptized into Christ Jesus' death and we raise in likeness, we walk in newness of life. For sin shall no longer have dominion over us for we're no longer under the Mosaic law. For we're under grace, full of grace and truth, Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ is the Lord, is God, He's Almighty. <coughs> Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ is not a created being. He's not Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ is not the created being, Michael the Archangel. That's blasphemy. You're going to be risen to everlasting damnation. You better repent and turn to the real Jesus. The real Jesus. Not There's no power in the watchtower. There's no power here. Purge yourself from your dead works to serve the living God. You're not born again. You must be born again. And when you're born again, like Romans chapter 8 says, Now therefore there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. You're not in Christ Jesus. You're in, in the watchtower. You're in a religious spirit. A religious hypocrisy spirit. The outside of the cup is clean, but the inside is filthy. Filled with lewdness. Look at that. Just a dress code. Just a religious works. Yes. Do you have to, did, did they send you an email on how to dress? Yes. Or do you dress to serve the living God by faith? Or is it just a dress code? We have to do this. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get excommunicated. You, you, I understand you guys want to be a part of something, but you can be a part of God's kingdom. You could be, become a, a partaker of the heavenly gift in the Lord Jesus Christ being born again. You don't have to put on a fake smile. You don't have to put on the fake smile. Hi, hi. No, you can have power. You could become born again with the Holy Spirit, but you must repent. 
You're just storing up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath. My friend, you're, that's how I know you're not born again. You're walking in front of me. That's how I know you're not right with God. That's how I know you're not right with God. And your conscience bears witness. When you lay your head on your pillow at night, yes, your conscience is going to bear witness. Your conscience is going to bear witness. Praise the living God. Because you're not born again. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, Now therefore there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Not in being a false witness. No, that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. You don't have the Spirit. That's why you're still in the flesh. You're trying to perform these deeds in your own will, in your own power because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah, He's doing great bumping into me and trying to block me. You're phony. You're fake. Bunch of hypocrites. Yes. Spirit of the devil. Children of the devil. That's who you are. Children of the devil. For the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. You don't have life. You're spiritually dead. You're spiritually dead. That's why you don't have life. For what the Mosaic law could not do and that it was weak in the flesh, God sending His own Son in likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for those that are in the flesh do mind the things of the flesh you're all in the flesh you're all in the flesh that's why you mind the things of the flesh because you don't have the Holy Spirit you're not born again that's why you're in the flesh so you do mind the things of the flesh you, you go and listen to a father of lies being of your father the devil you try to block people, try to walk in front of people because you're trying to fulfill the lust of your flesh. You're trying to fulfill the lust of your flesh. But those that are after the Holy Spirit do mind the things of the Spirit. For the carnal mind is enmity with God. You have a carnal mind, you're at enmity with God. Yes. The carnal mind is enmity with God. You have a carnal mind, you're at enmity with God. You know what enmity means? Extreme hatred. You're like extreme hatred with God. Yes. The Bible says that the boastful shall not stand in thy sight. Psalms chapter 5. The boastful shall not stand in thy sight. For God hates all workers of iniquity. God hates all workers of iniquity. Psalms chapter 5. In the King James Holy Bible, if you ever read it, instead of going through your, through your spiel, through your religious spiel, Yes. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 7 verse 11 that God is angry with the wicked every day. You try to block me, you try to bump me, God is angry with the wicked every day. And then it continues. If you turn not to Jesus Christ, He's going to bend His bow back and make it ready. He's going to lay upon you the instruments of death. Repent and believe the gospel. Trust and obey the real Jesus of the King James Holy Bible. Jesus Christ said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to every man of their work shall be. I am Alpha. I'm the Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. That's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not a created being. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. He says, I'm, I'm the first. I'm the last. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Yes. Yes. You guys are going to see each other in hellfire if you don't repent and turn to the Lord. Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. God with us. God with us. Yes, Jesus Christ is Lord God. Almighty. Jesus Christ is Lord God. Almighty. Repent and be converted. Stop perverting the truth. Stop perverting the truth. You make God angry with this perversion, with this doctrine of devils, the Bible calls it. A doctrine of devils. God hates a false witness. It's a doctrine of devils, the Bible says. Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was capital G God. And you say, oh no, but in the in the uh, in the Greek, 
It's a lowercase g. In Koine Greek, all, all letters are capitalized. You pervert the truth of God's word. You're an enemy of righteousness. Purge yourself from your dead works to serve the real living God. Jesus is not Michael the Archangel, my friend. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. He's not a created being. According to the King James Holy Bible. You guys are perverting the truth of God's word. You're on your way to a lake that burns with fire and brimstone. And God's hand is still out to you guys. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. How can they hear on whom they have not heard? How can they hear without a preacher? How can he preach unless he be sent? I'm here to tell you the word of God that you might be saved. The truth. I'm not here to deceive you. I'm not here to tell you uh, feigned words and make merchandise of you. I don't want any of your money. God wants to save your soul. God wants you to be born again. I'm coming out here in truth. I'm coming out here in truth and in love that you might hear the gospel. But the Bible says that God resists the proud but gives grace unto the humble. That why, that's why God resists you because you're proud, you're haughty, you're high-minded, your eyelids are lifted up. And that's why God's face is against you. It's like it says in Peter. God's face is against those that do evil. You're probably going to come in here and pray. Do you pray? Do you pray? John 9, 31. God does not hear the prayers of sinners. God doesn't hear the prayers of sinners. The Lord's face is against those who do evil. Repent and believe the gospel. Your feigned words. Your feigned words mean nothing on the day of judgment. Jesus Christ is not a created being. Jesus Christ is not Michael the archangel, my neighbors. Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty. The Bible says that all things were made by Jesus Christ. Not all other things. Look at strong delusion. People are under a strong delusion because you do not believe the truth. So God hath sent you a strong delusion. A strong delusion. Jesus Christ is from everlasting to everlasting. As the Bible says, Oops. <clears throat> Oops. The Bible says in Micah chapter 5, now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He hath laid seas against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. Micah chapter 5 verse 2. But thou Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee he shall come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from old, from everlasting as prophesying about Jesus Christ and in Matthew chapter 2 Jesus Christ from Bethlehem he's from everlasting you seek to a fear of man you seek to be fear of man be accepted by men I don't want to be accepted by men I want to be accepted by God I want to be accepted by God. My kingdom is in heaven. It's not on this earth. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. You're being deceived by a, by a false prophet. You're being deceived by a Freemason. You're being deceived by a child of the devil. Yes. In the end times, hearts shall wax worse and worse. Look at evil men and seducers. Your hearts are waxing worse and worse. Deceiving many and being deceived. Deceiving many, being deceived. Look, you're deceiving many, being deceived. Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes, I'm not dismayed at your religious faces. Repent 
and believe the gospel. All things were made by Jesus Christ. Nothing that was made was not made by Jesus Christ. The Bible says, the Bible says in Galatians chapter 1, that any of you, <clears throat> that if any of you preach another gospel, even an angel preach another gospel, let him be accursed. That's the word of God. You have a false Jesus, you're accursed according to the word of God. You have a false Jesus. Jesus is not Michael the archangel. No, Jesus Christ is Lord, God, Almighty. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, because you don't, you, they can't say a word because they're not founded upon the rock. <coughs> That's why you can't say a word because you're, you're not founded upon the rock. You're not founded upon the rock of salvation, the real Jesus Christ. That's why you don't have the truth. You don't have the truth. You're just going on in your strong delusion. Strong delusion. You're going to be risen. You're going to be risen someday to everlasting damnation if you don't repent and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, God, Almighty. <clears throat> the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, Look not every man on his own things, Look not every man into his own things of others. Let this mind be in you, which also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, capital G God, being in the form of capital G God, thought it not robbery to be equal with capital G God. How do you miss that? How do you miss that? I don't know if you don't read the King James Holy Bible, if you just read your New World Order book, not a Bible, yes. You're going to be judged by this holy and righteous God. By this book, this holy book when you die. Don't go on in your strong delusion, my neighbors. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. But deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, Christ Jesus, being in the form of capital G, God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. It's not robbery for Jesus to be equal with capital G God. In Philippians chapter 2. But listen, he made himself of no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant. That's what Jesus Christ did. He took upon himself to be a form of a servant and was made in likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which above every name, that the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow of things in heaven and the things in earth. Good job just being a dead man's bones. Be, good job just standing here. Good job standing here. Yes. Yes. That the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and the things in earth and the things under the earth. That every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to glory of God the Father. Jesus Christ, He is Lord God Almighty. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 44 verse 6, That thus saith the Lord God, I'm the first and the last. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 2, Jesus Christ is the first and the last who is dead and who is alive today forevermore. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is the first and the last. Yes, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Good job of what? The Word is still going out, my friends. You're just blocking the truth of God's Word. You're going to remember this. Why are you bumping into me? You want to know why? Want to know why? Because you have an evil heart of unbelief. You don't believe who Jesus Christ is He. And you want to know what? You're going to die in your sins and go to hell if you don't repent. Don't wink at me. I'm, I'm not an effeminate sodomite. Don't wink at me. That's wicked. That's how I know you don't have the Holy Spirit. You're winking at another man. Shame on me. Shame on you. You're feeling threatened when I'm two feet away, but you bumped into me. But you bumped into me. 
That's the hypocrisy right there. That's what I'm saying. That's the hypocrisy. You can't even see your own hypocrisy because you're deaf, you're dumb, and you're blind. You have eyes and see not. You have ears and hear not. Careful, careful, you have careful, eyes and careful, hear not. He, he bumped into me. Careful, he bumped into me. Don't touch me. Careful, Don't touch me. You are, you've you're been not. touching me over and over, but you're telling me careful, but you're bumping into me? Careful. That's a hypocrisy. Careful. You're religious hypocrites. You draw nigh unto Jesus Christ with your mouth and honor him with your lips, but your heart is far from him. Yes, you travel land and sea to make a proselyte. You, you travel land and sea to make a convert. Twice the son of hell is yourself. Twice the son of hell is yourself. Yes. The Bible says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing. Come to you. No, you're a liar. You bumped into me, you liar. You're a liar. And the truth is not in you. You're of your father, the devil. You're of your father, the devil. You're of your father, the devil, because the lust of your father you will do. You're saying I'm bumping into people. You bumped into me, you hypocrite. You bumped into me. Oh, look, look, exactly, right there. You're a hypocrite. There's your fruit right there. Your fruit is wicked. You're wicked. You're on your way to a lake that burns. You say, oh, you're, oh, don't come up to me. I feel threatened when I was two, three feet away from you, but you come right upon me. That's your hypocrisy right there. Yes, that's your hypocrisy. You're going to burn in a lake of fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You're going to die twice. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But that's okay because I got God's word. The Bible says, rest with us when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on all those who know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power yes look at your little feigned words little feigned words I mean nothing but inside you're full of dead man's bones dead man's bones that's how I know you're not right with God. That's how I know you don't have the Holy Spirit. You don't have patience, kindness, meekness, temperance. You don't have, you don't have self-control. You don't have self-control. Yes. Telling somebody, oh, I love you, bro, and, and putting their, your arm around them. You know what the, the Bible says? The wicked join hand in hand. The wicked join hand in hand. They shall not go unpunished. You're not going to go unpunished. The wicked join hand in hand. But by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. There's no fear of the Lord before your eyes. There's no fear of the Lord before your eyes. You have no wisdom. You have no knowledge. You have no truth. You have no temperance. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. But fools... But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You don't fear the Lord. That's why you bump into people. That's why you make a false accusation. You know what happens to the false accusers of the brethren in the Bible and Revelation? The false accusers of the brethren, they're going to have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Yes, that's, that's the Jesus Christ that I serve. Yes, that's my Lord God Almighty there's no fear of the Lord before your eyes there's no fear of God before your eyes that's why you bump into people that's why you make false accusation because you don't fear God there's no fear of the Lord before your eyes because you don't have the right Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is Lord God yes yeah you make him here look you look you're on you're on door duty now because you can't control yourself because you can't control yourself you're on door duty because you can't control yourself. You like bumping into people over and over and making false accusations, being a hypocrite. Yes, this phony religion, phony religion, that's all it is. It's just a phony religion. There's no power in the watchtower. There's no Holy Spirit here. Look at the broad path which leadeth to destruction. The broad path which lead to destruction. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ is not a created being. All things were made by Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, nothing that was made was made. Nothing that was made was made by Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ made all things. All things were made by Jesus Christ. Was not anything made that was made. Yes. Praise the Lord. When Michael the archangel was contending with the devil, he said, the Lord rebuke you. He didn't say, I rebuke you. Jesus Christ is not Michael the archangel. He's Lord God Almighty, the first and the last. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's God. He's Almighty. Jesus Christ is Emmanuel, God with us. Look, a religious dead spirit. Religious dead spirit. You have no Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's just a religious dead spirit. Yes, that's all it is. Purge yourself from your dead works to serve the living God. Purge yourself from your dead works. All right, got to go back to work. Got to work with my hands, as the Bible says. Got to work heartily unto, unto the Lord by the sweat of my brow. Got to go back to work, my friends. Not your dead works. No, not your 501c3 entity trying to climb the corporate ladder. Dead works. No. No. Jesus said, who are my brothers? Who are my sisters? Who are my mothers? Though that do the will of my father. You're not doing the will of my father. You're not my brothers. You're not my sisters. But you can become my brother and sister. Yes. Yes. Got to go back and work like a man of God. Not just stand here like a statue. Get right with God. Serve Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus Christ is not Michael the Archangel. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. Yes, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Man, this, uh, this acre died. That's okay. Jesus Christ said, if you do not believe that I am He, you'll die in your sin. Jesus Christ is God. In Philippians chapter 2, it's not robbery that Jesus is equal with God. Don't go on in your strong delusion. You're being led to a lake that burns with your religious spirit. You can have the Holy Spirit in the Lord Jesus Christ. The way humble repentance and faith. Seek the Lord, God Almighty, while He may be found. Not Charles Taze Russell, false prophet. Yes, look at this broad path which leads to destruction. Reach your religious dead works. Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Jesus Christ is God Almighty, my friend. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. He's not created. Firstborn doesn't mean creation. The only begotten doesn't mean created being. Only begotten Son of God doesn't mean created. Begotten doesn't mean created. It means special one of its kind, not created. All things were created by Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Jesus Christ said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give to every man of their work shall be Jesus Christ said, I am Alpha, I'm the Omega, I'm the beginning and the end, the first and the last. All things were created by Jesus Christ. Was not anything made that was made. All things were created by Jesus Christ. Not all other things, not all other things, as your New World Order book says. Yes, praise the living God. Praise the living God. Purge yourself from your dead works. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. He's not Michael the Archangel. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said, If you do not believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. Just like as Thomas said, Jesus Christ, He's my Lord and my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Hey, my friend, you're deceived. Young man, you're deceived. You're deceived. The wicked join hand in hand. You're deceived, young man. You're deceived, my friend. Hey, turn to the real Jesus, my friend. You're on your way to a lake that burns. You're going to be risen to everlasting damnation. Yeah, it's just this faint, this foolish talk. Foolish talk matters not.
Bluetooth is waiting for connection. You made heaven and earth. Bluetooth is connected. Those things dying. When men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us. If it had not been the Lord who was on the... Turn to the real Jesus, my friend. The first and the last. All things were created by Him, not all other things, all things. John chapter 1, verse 3. witness yeah no smiling no laughing on judgment day sinner Jesus Christ he's Lord God Almighty hey God's gonna remember that yep you better get right with God God's gonna destroy you pushing people yes repent and believe the gospel who Jesus Christ said who says he is your your waving and your niceties is not the righteousness of God you're waving, you're being nice. It's not the righteousness of God, my friends. You're waving and being nice. That's very deceitful. Yes, repent and believe the real gospel that Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. All things were made by Jesus Christ. Was not anything made that was made by Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ said, if you do not believe that I am He, you're going to die in your sin. You're going to die in your sin if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Hey, you got one foot in the grave and another on a banana peel. You better repent and get right with God. You don't want God to destroy you. 
Praise the Lord. 